Cheers and salutations, all you hip cool cats. My name is Kit, and this is Chicago Reacts. And welcome one and all to our YouTube channel. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. And today, 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 we have ourselves a fun video to check out. It is something I think a lot of us were waiting for. Lucky number 13. The worst internet gun fails. The Darwin Awards by none other than the great, outstanding Brandon Herrera. So as always, folks, please be sure to support the original content creator. That link is in the description box below. So please, everyone, do the right thing. Do the one thing I know all of you will do, and that is support the original content creator. Okay? All the videos for Chicago Reacts, we post the original link of the video in the description box below. As a favor for me, please support and subscribe to them. After you get done checking out our video, if you've done so already, you're awesome. If you haven't, please get to it right away. It would be so cool if you did, because a lot of time, effort, and energy is made into making these awesome videos. So return the kindness, okay? Subscribe. Be awesome, as you should be, you hip cool cats. But now, grab yourself a tasty snack and a tasty beverage. Be sure to dodge, and be sure to be safe out there, because, folks, stupidity will cost you. Try not to be stupid. Especially in this day and age. It's it's, it's just not worth it. All right, let's play this video in a three, a uh, two, a uh, one. That's going to leave a mark. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of the Darwin Awards. As I like to say here on the channel, guns are awesome. Idiots, on the other hand, not so much. When you put the two of those things together, you might get the winner of what we call a Darwin Award. If you're not familiar with the idea of a Darwin Award, it's when somebody does something so stupid that it removes them from the gene pool and the fittest continue to survive. In this episode, we're gonna have explosions, negligent no. discharges, no. maybe even our first knife Darwin Award. So Gun knife. What could possibly go wrong? Strap on in for another episode as we use dark comedy as a tool to teach gun and weapon safety. Now, if you're a little squeamish to graphic content, don't worry. This video has been appropriately blurred and censored to comply with YouTube guidelines. Also, not to permanently scar the teenagers that are undoubtedly in the audience. Trust me, guys. I grew up in the live leak generation. That shit ain't good for you. So without further ado, let's jump on into our first video. So in this video, we have what's called a confidence drill which is where you put other students downrange of the students that are shooting and put them right next to the target to build their confidence. I um, it has been a long time uh, since I've been on a range. I served four years in the Marine Corps. Now, I am not a gunsmith expert. I don't own a shooting range or anything of that nature. However, with my lack of experience... I have, I have never heard anything that asinine before where you put a live, flesh and blood human being next to a target. I've, I've, I've never heard of that. I think that's very stupid and dumb because anything of that name, anything that could go wrong will go wrong. It just, it does, maybe it's not my cup of tea. So to the professionals out there, if that's a thing, why? Who, 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 who approved of that? I, that would not fly in the Marine Corps. I know that would not fly on, on an Army range or Navy range. Hell, a Coast Guard or Air Force shooting range. That wouldn't fly. No pun intended with the Air Force. Come on. Even the Merchant Marines wouldn't do anything like that. Okay, that, 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 that wasn't a funny joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That... Let's play the video. Ironically, it also takes away any confidence I have that you have a good instructor. Thank you. All right, this guy's safe for now. Uh -huh. Now he had very little reaction to that, but that man was just shot in the arm. If you go back, you can see the moment where his sleeve ripples a bit and his arm drops a little. A plus to this fucking stud who reacts like Arnold when he was the T-1000 Terminator. Just gets shot. And T Ar on here. Brandon. Arnold was a T-800. That's, that's, that, that's the model. T-1000 was, was the liquid one, buddy. 
100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and a three-mile run. That's your punishment. T-800. That's, that's, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's. That was the model. Okay, T-1000. And, and just, and just, 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 just so I heard it correctly. We're going to rewind that just a little bit. Fucking stud who reacts like Arnold when he was the T-1000. T-1000. T-1000 no. is the liquid one. Arnold is a T-800. It's okay. It's all right. I'm not mad. Terminator. Just get shot and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that happened. But we also have this video <laughs> that shows the aftermath of him taking a round. Thankfully, you know, it's training ammo. It's it's ball ammo, full metal jacket. It's not like a hollow point or anything, so it's not going to be gnarly. But it's just it's a clean point. in and out. It's still not great. Yeah. The reason we don't do these fucking drills. Fortunately, it was just a clean in and out. And the worst thing that comes out of this is homeboys fucked up some nice tattoos. But yeah, basically his buddy just gave him the Kyle Rittenhouse Gage Gross Croyd special. Except this guy wasn't even a prohibited person chasing a minor with a gun. By the way, speaking of Gage Gross Croyds, did you see like a month ago he got hit by a fucking car? So for this next one, we've got a guy. Holy cow, really? Jeez. Ugh. Oh, well. N never, ne never play chicken with a car. And just, just, just for record too, I had to pull this up on my phone. Robert Patrick played the T-1000. We, we, we should not let Brandon Herrera forget that. I here at a skeet shooting range. Real quick for those unaware, skeet shooting is where you uh, have a shotgun, you go out in a place where they throw clay discs and you shoot them out of the air. Pretty funny. I've done that. That is a lot of fun to do. If you never tried it. This gentleman, however, looks like he's about to awkwardly shoot a shotgun with one hand held extended. No. You know where this is going. No. No. Perhaps me yelling no loud enough will stop it in time. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> idiot! <laughs> Stupid! I couldn't have more perfectly gone in a precarious place. I used to be an adventurer like you. Until I took a shotgun to the ass. Yeah. This guy was about to find out exactly what it means to get your back blown out. Thankfully, in this case, it was just a single barrel. No pun intended, ladies. Barrel shotgun, uh, but uh, could you imagine if it was a double barrel? You had one of those barrels still loaded and chambered and ready to go. We should probably go over the rules of firearm safety real quick, just because this clearly violated one of those. Treat every weapon as if it is loaded. Yes. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Know your target and what's behind it, and never point a gun at anything you are not willing to destroy. Think we know which one was violated, unless he was willing to destroy his own asshole. That came out wrong. Speaking of the RPG... That's what she said. Hey, what? I, I, I say the same line of Kentucky ballistics all the time. I never said I was the hero of the story. If you thought I was, uh, you, 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 you have been gravely mistaken. You might notice mine has been moved recently. Oh, yeah. We're doing that video. At time of recording, we may or may not have already finished that video. And it may or may not have been fucking awesome. So be sure you're subscribed, because you're not going to miss what happens on Monday. Anyhow, moving on to this gem of a video. So this gentleman wants to try something. And he's in this video, recording himself, wearing a bulletproof vest. No! You know where this is going. No! I'm gonna try something though. You know? What the fuck are you doing? time they just shooting this stuff. I want to see how it felt when I was shooting this. No. You fool. He wants to feel what it was like when he was shooting ninjas? What? Um... This isn't good. What an odd thing to say on social media. Gang shit. It was not gang shit. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> exactly what part of shooting yourself in the chest is gang shit. This is why women live longer than men. And this is why men live longer than men who do gang shit. So sorry to break the immersion, but I'm like almost 100% sure this video is fake. He's probably using either just a primer or a blank. There's a few. Mm. 
Mm, true. True. After all, we've seen plenty of Kentucky ballistics videos where he has shot, you know, body armor before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Few reasons I believe this. Notice that even though he's holding it awkward as fuck, like he's giving the pistol no real support, it still has pretty much no recoil. Now on the vest, there's just like a little mark and not really, a, there's not a, a visible hole, even just in the fabric or like the, the plate carrier. And the most telling part, that pistol doesn't even begin to cycle. At least he's not lying when he says that he's okay. I'm okay. For the record, even if you're wearing body armor that can stop a bullet, never a good idea to just, you know, yeah. try it out yourself. No. It's bad juju for one and for two, well, well, we'll talk about another instance where that just really doesn't go well later. Now this next one's a little fucked, but it's probably one of my favorites just because of how bizarre it is. My mans appears to be at a gas station checking out the fine assortment of gas station quality knives. But the real question is, how do you know if a knife is sharp? Well, the answer is obvious. You flick it out and then you press it into your own stomach just to see if it goes in. My favorite part is the fucking audacity he has to be surprised that he stabbed himself. The fuck did you think was going to happen? This dude straight up let his invasive thoughts win. You know what knives are. You know what happens when you push them into soft objects. You are not in fact built different, my boy. What a fucking tool. Speaking of tools though, if you're a tool guy, you'll probably like Warwood Tools. They're a family owned and operated business for the last 160 years dedicated to bringing you high quality tools like sledgehammers and axes. They're based out of West Virginia and their skilled craftsmen uses World War One. Country road, West Virginia. Everyone, finish the song. Finish the goddamn song. You know it. I can't sing the rest because of YouTube. Because, you know, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube will flag us. They'll say, oh, you're doing copyright stuff. I know, YouTube is just that crazy now. But in the comments section below, one brave soul will type the song. Go ahead and do it. In World War II era drop hammers to forge these fuckers one at a time. If you're looking for a suggestion, might I recommend the perfect axe. Forged from 5160 high carbon US steel and 100% made here in the United States. They're a new sponsor of the channel, so go ahead and give them some love down in the description in the pinned comment where you could find the link to their website. Thank you to Warwood Tools and back to Darwin Awards. Now it wouldn't be a proper Darwin Awards video if we didn't have at least one Arab wedding celebration. Here we have our Jameer Doe number one, who has an excellent taste in firearms, by the way. He's rocking a Hugo Underfolder AK M92 to be precise. And they're doing the Arab celebration thing of, of course, shooting up in the air, forgetting that bullets come down. All seems to be going fairly well, until he forgets where his muzzle is and squeezes off one right about head level. Probably gonna have to censor that fall a little bit, but homie just, oh, it's lights out. Did he die? I mean, honestly, he might've survived. Like weirder things have happened, right? But that was- See, now, Everyone looks like they're having a fun time. But from all the other previous Darwin Award videos that we have checked out, you know, it just seems like all, all, all the lovely people having fun at the weddings are people that never held a weapon before. Okay? And after all, what goes up must inevitably shall and will most likely come down. That's what she said. Yes. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Now, this video has been circulating quite a lot in the last week or two. Uh, a lot of people are actually saying that it was premeditated murder. That just that that angle of the gun coming down and firing perfectly oh. in line with that dude's noggin. So maybe that guy didn't like the other dude. Uh, it was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was an accident. Didn't he owe you money? Nah, man. Wait, didn't did, did he, did, did he like uh, scratch your car up? Nah, nah. It was an accident. And seemed like it was intentional. To me, my thoughts are, uh, how did Obi-Wan put it? These last points, too accurate for sand people. Now, I'm of course referring to the, uh, the <laughs> something terrible has happened, quote. Why, which one did you use? 
Now, if you think Arab wedding celebrations are a little crazy, just wait till you see the Chechen weddings. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> how everybody just immediately turns and looks like, what the fuck? No, I, say, I say Chechen as a joke. I have no idea what part in, you know, that part of the world that this happened in, but holy shit. <laughs> oh, I, should be, I shouldn't be laughing at that. That's not funny. First of all, hold on. We're winding that. We're winding that. You see the Chechen weddings. All right, so, so, so first you got the DJ there. You know, most likely, you know, Hopefully he got paid, but he's he's in the mood, like playing his keyboard. By the way, nice setup right there. He's singing, living his best life. He's like, <laughs> he's got that. Look, God damn it, not again. <laughs> Jesus. I love how everybody just immediately turns and looks like, what the fuck? No, I say I say Chechen is a joke. I have no idea what part in you know that part of the world that this happened in, but holy shit, the Eastern European cut of the wedding singer. I play in a band. Oh really? What do you play? Well, of course, the PKM. As I've said before in clips like this in the past where people fire weapons indoors, but especially in this particular clip, I really hope that this is a one-story building, because otherwise that would be hella inconsiderate for oh. your upstairs neighbors. Or at least the top floor. PKMs are dope, but maybe don't fire them indoors mm. uninvited. Although the PKM is dope. It's basically just an upside down AK if you've never taken a look at one. It's also designed by Kalashnikov as well. A lot of people don't know that. And if weapon design stuff like that interests you, I hope you know you can get your start in gunsmithing and weapons technology over at sdi.edu. They are the main sponsor of the channel, so you can check them out down in the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Now, another staple of Darwin Awards is, of course, doing dumb shit with Tannerite. Because nothing says safety like binary explosives far too close. This next video, no exceptions. Come so on, let's don't, watch. No. You ready, Freddy? Stupid. All right, let's see. Uh... Are you ready, Freddy? Are you ready? Freddy doesn't look like he's ready. Uh, what we're gonna do? What are we gonna do here? Two pounds of explosives at twenty-two thousand feet per second. Ah, stupid. You know something? I never wished any kind of ill will on any kind of person, but um, playing around that kind of explosive and you have no other safety but hiding behind a wall. You, I still have hope for humanity. But every day that goes on, it's just that tank just lowers and lowers and lowers. There's still some hope that I have, but it is evaporating at a very high level. First off, damn, that's an interesting scope on that Mosin Nagant. Second of all, two pounds of binaries at that range isn't necessarily unreasonable if it was just the binaries and not, not inside of an appliance that's basically made of shrapnel. Stupid. That's gonna leave a mark. What's funny though is that the guy Stupid. who's shooting is he's got the right idea. He's bladed against a, what appears to be a concrete wall. Very little of his body actually exposed and then when it goes off, he ducks behind the wall. His fucking buddy, though, is absolutely not protected by that wall at all and gets blue falconed pretty hard. Just remember when shit blows up, the thing that's being blown up goes somewhere. Protect yourself accordingly. Up next, we have some security cam footage of some guys being bros. And by that, I mean a dude going into his buddy's office, grabbing his loaded handgun, pointing it at his hand. Oh! Still got my hands. Hey, everyone, show me you still have your hands. And getting the surprise inside. This clip is giving me hardcore Starship Troopers flashbacks. The enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hand. Also, if you haven't seen Starship Troopers before, you absolutely need to. But in this clip, I'm not exactly... Paul Verhoeven really knows how to make a great movie. Robocop, Total Recall, Starship Troopers... Um, Basic Instinct. That's a good movie. For many reasons. 
What was to gain from putting your hand in front of the gun and then pulling the trigger? Like, obviously we have so many gun safety fuck ups here. He grabbed his homie's gun without clearing it. So treating every gun as if it's loaded, putting his finger on the trigger, even though he wasn't ready to shoot and pointing it at something he, I mean, probably wasn't willing to destroy. You know, obviously grabbing somebody's gun, A, without permission, but without clearing it and then pulling the trigger is just a brain dead thing to do. But the hand in front of the barrel before pulling the trigger is just, galaxy IQ move. But for somebody who just watched the uncensored clip, good thing he's right-handed. Now our Darwin award-winning clip here is actually a story that I, I heard many years ago, but I didn't realize there was footage of it until just recently. Oh, no. So here's the brief overview of the story and here's the post that made me want to dig into it again. In 2017, YouTube stuntman Pedro Ruiz, AKA the crazy Pedro. Oh no, I remember this. Stupid. Anything for YouTube clout. And look, and I know a lot of people on TikTok, the Instagrams, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, etc. Everyone wants to be rich and famous. Everyone wants to get big on social media. Don't be stupid. Everyone's trying to go after clout. Sometimes, uh, never mind. You know what? If people aren't going to listen then, they're not going to listen now. Just don't be like the crazy Pedro. I wanted to see if a hardcover encyclopedia could stop a bullet from a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. He work. asked his pregnant girlfriend to shoot the book while he stood behind it. When she shot, the bullet went through the encyclopedia and claimed Pedro's life. Essentially, from digging into this a bit, the kid wanted to be a gun tuber. And in a completely stupid act, decided to put his life literally on the line to do it, which YouTube would not have allowed anyway. You, like, you can't do shit like that. But it kind of shows even back in 2017, kind of the, the lengths that people will go to to try to get their bit of, of internet. Still, still, still will do to get internet fame. A little bit off topic. There's that scumbag Johnny Somali, right? He effed around in another country, Japan. And uh, let's just say that kiddo's going to find out because he wanted to be stupid. He, you know, like I said, there's a lot of dumb people who wanted to get that internet celebrity fame. It ain't worth it. And uh, so there we go. Again. Fame. Trust me, bro. I've been where you are. I wanted this job like hell in 2017, too. Trust me. Being a gun tuber is not always all it's cracked up to be. But still, you know, as the saying goes, best job I ever had. Now, I was very familiar with this story. I'd heard it a couple dozen times, but it recently resurfaced again. And then I found the link to the video. Now, obviously it's only the first part, so it's, it's not graphic or anything, but if you're sensitive to this kind of stuff, it it is pretty grim. I really just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. What sticks out this video the most to me is how much it actually humanizes Pedro. Like I can sympathize with him. Like there's, there's clips of him getting pissed at trucks driving by ruining his audio. What's the point of this? I really just want to see if you know, trucks. <laughs> you know, it's easy to just dismiss somebody, call them a dumbass, and laugh at a headline. But actually watching somebody laugh with their girlfriend, having no idea that they are minutes away from death, that's that's pretty heavy. I'm just not going to just set it and just shoot it. No. I'm going to stand behind it. And Mona Lisa is going to shoot it. Now, he was putting a lot of faith in his girlfriend's hands, but to be fair to her, I mean, looking at that photo of the book, she hit pretty much right on the money. The problem was, I, I just, why not test this first? Why not test this book first? I mean, if you're going to be doing a stupid stunt like this, I mean, at least know for a fact how it's going to end. God, this one's personally, yeah, it's personally frustrating to me. I'm just putting, like, through my eyes, like, I'm just thinking of accidentally inspiring some kid to do this. That's why I try to focus so much on safety, guys. Like, I just can't. Yeah. Like, you, you have to take this stuff seriously. So if I'm going to die, I'm pretty much ready to go to heaven right now. If I die, I'll be ready for Jesus. He probably won't accept me into the pearly gates because how stupid this is. But I have confidence that my girlfriend will hit the book and not me. Well, even though I agree with Pedro, um, what he did was stupid. I do kind of personally hope Jesus did still accept him. Stupid as the stunt might be, Pedro seemed like a good enough kid. And this that's thats a rough way to go. And unfortunately, I believe his girlfriend ended up like doing a few months for a manslaughter charge out of this whole ordeal. 
I think I heard she did like a couple months in prison for that. Let me actually verify that. Oh, fuck me. He's my age. We were both born in 95. Talk about two parallel life paths that split and yeah. Wow. Yep. She was sentenced to 180 days in jail. God, what a, what a fucked case. Just goes to show, like, look, guys, I, I know you see us do cool gun stuff all the time, right? But please remember, as, as fun as they can be and as useful of a tool as they can be, they're not toys. You have to treat them with respect. Doing something stupid and showing off to your friends on Instagram is not worth your life. Just please, guys, remember what I've told you guys here and, and, and everywhere else. Remember the rules of gun safety and treat every weapon with respect. Because I really don't want to see one of you guys winning a Darwin Award. So with that in mind, that wraps this episode of the Darwin Awards. If you'd like to check out other Darwin Awards videos, we've got them in a series down below. I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end of the video. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Now, if you think Arab weapon, weapon celebration, Freudian slip. Now, if you think, now if you think Arab, fuck. I was rather hoping. That was at least a bright note to end, end the uh, <clears throat> end the video on. Um, first of all, let's address that last video. Look, just the words that Bran said to everybody out there. Listen to them. Listen to them again. Don't be stupid. All right. And look, he he has a successful YouTube channel, but you know what does he say in all of his YouTube videos? Safety, safety, safety. Now, Darwin Awards, they can be funny to watch. There's a lot of dark humor there, but look, one and done. You lose your life. That's it. It's over. There's no reset button. It's not a video game. Once you're gone, you're gone. You become worm food and you decompose. The world will still go on its tilted access. 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 All right, I'm screwing that up. Just... Be safe out there, okay? You're important. And as always, look, please, as everyone, uh, support the original YouTube video. The link is in the description box below. That's the right thing to do. And uh, one other side note to Bran Herrera himself. <clears throat> look, buddy, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a T-800, all right? T-1000, completely different number. You know, you got, you, you got the two confused. That's okay, because see, the T-1000 can actually take the bullet hits and just be liquid, which is awesome. But next time, next time, get it right. Still, 100 sit-ups, 100 pull-ups, <laughs> 100 push-ups, and a three-mile run. Make it happen. All right, folks, my name is Kit. This has been Chicago Reacts. Take good care of yourselves. Really seriously, take good care of yourselves. Drink water, keep on winning, and I'll see all you hip cool cats on the flip side. Peace.